Okay, welcome back. This is Women's Wednesday. I'm Mariah, the wife of the revolting man. Um, twice a month he lets me make a video and uh, add a little estrogen to his masculine channel. And so if you're not into um, women's stuff or, or religious stuff, um, you know, you might not want to watch this and, and stick with the gun videos. But if you're a woman and you like um, talking about women's stuff and religious stuff, then stick around and, um, and we'll get right into it. Um, today I'd like to talk to um, specifically mothers, but I think it can apply to pretty much anyone in, in anything that they're going through. Um, this was inspired by a friend of mine who has um, many children, young children, um, and she is just feeling overwhelmed right now, and that's a big un understatement, and I, and I know that. And this is what came up with my conversation with my friend. Is, is I said something like, um, well, God will never give you more than you can handle, you know, that old cliche, which is, is sort of from a verse, but it's kind of taken out of context, and the wording is a bit different, and um, she pointed out that it, it wasn't actually in the Bible, and, and I said, well, you know, uh, that's true, that, you know, that verse isn't talking about what I thought it was. But, um, I, you know, I just started milling around that, that concept in my head, and thinking, you know, that's exactly the point I think is that God does give us more than we can handle um, we see it throughout scripture and a great place to turn I started wanting to list off the different characters you know you've got Moses who says you know God I, I can't even I, I'm not a public speaker I'm, I'm not very eloquent how can I go and and approach Pharaoh um, you know you've got you've got David you've got all these others and I wanted to start listing them all but then the Bible's already done it for us in, in Hebrews 11, where it's the faith chapter. You know, by faith, Noah built the ark. By faith, uh, you know, this and that. And, and this person did this great thing. And this person did this great thing to further the kingdom of God. And so it's not by their own, their own doing at all. It's not by their own strength and their own willpower. It's by God, and, and it's God working miraculously in them. And you know, the, the thing about children and raising children is it's not an immediate reward. And that's another thing that Hebrews 11 talks about, is that many of these characters in the Bible, they didn't get their rewards in their lifetime even. That it was, it was, something, it was something afar off that they could only glimpse. Um, maybe I should read that one verse that, that seems very telling. Um, you know, it, it's, it's listed all these, all these characters, and then it goes on, and it says, you know, I, I, could, I could go on and on about, um, it says, and what shall I more say for the time would fail me to tell of all, and all these different, this is verse 33, and then it, it's quenched the fire, the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, and, and it's listing all these acts that um, different people have done by faith, and then it's, um, they were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. And see, this is... This is this is the hard part. Um, you know, this is the part that us in the 21st century, we can't, we can't wrap our minds around this. This is something we don't know anything about. We don't know anything about real suffering. And um, man, you know, the, the faith that these people had to have to get through this stuff and, and not to see the reward. And that's what I want to say about, about raising children is we don't see the reward immediately. You know, we're so used to in our and our flesh and our nature is that instant gratification. That's what we want. You know, we, we have an itch. We want to scratch it and be instantly um, pacified. And so, you know, we're hungry. We want to eat something. So, you know, we have that gratification. But children, we might not have that reward immediately. We might not have it in five years. We might not have it in ten years. We might not see it in at all, you know. and. And so it's, um, that kind of work is so hard and it, and I feel for her so much that what she's doing, she, you don't get a reward for, for cleaning up 
bodily fluids every day and for preparing meals every single meal. I mean, this, this is hard work that, that mothers have to do day in and day out with no breaks and no, no instant rewards. There is promises that we will, um, you know, that morning will last for a, for a night, but joy comes in the mor something like that. Yeah, joy comes in the morning. But there is promises about, you know, having that strength and the, having that joy that only God can give. How does that help, you know, the overwhelmed mom that, you know, has, has so much work to do? And, and the thing is that she is given she has given her, she's put her trust in God. She's given over her, her control of her body and her, of her, of her childbearing to God and God's blessing her with these children, but it's getting harder and harder and harder. And so where, how do you, where's the practical advice? You know, what can, what can she do that would, that would alleviate even at some of the of the work, some of the the feelings of, of being overwhelmed, and um, the only things that I could come up with, and this is advice for myself too, because even I don't I don't do this well, but um, and I don't know how exactly she does it, but structure and training are huge, I think, when it comes to to raising children, and and so you know if we could get our children um, trained. And on a daily routine, I think that we would see um, much better um, smoothness of the day and peaceful instead of you know the chaos that can reign when you do have a lot of children. Kingdom work is important. It's the most important work there is. And that um, I don't know. There's going to be blessings. There is going to be blessings. <laughs> but I'm sorry to have babbled and rambled on and. I just want to say thank you so much for, for watching these videos and um, thank you to any of the, the men that watch them and then um, get their, their ladies to, to watch them as well. Um, that means so much to me and, and I appreciate all the encouragement and um, I hope you have a, a, a wonderful beginning of spring even though it's like 40 degrees out here. But anyways, y'all take care. Good night.